Welcome to Beyond the Headlines. I'm Cheryl Jennings. Every week we focus on a different topic affecting people who live and work in the Bay Area. Now today's show examines the topic of adoption where more than 100,000 infants, children and teens across the country are now in need of a permanent loving home. In Alameda County, there is only one foster parent available for every 10 children in the foster care system. An effort to help children in foster care took place November 21st. National Adoption Day. The goal to raise awareness about the importance of finding a permanent home. ABC 7's Lisa Amin Galizian shares engaging moments of the special day last month. Two. From the time she was born, these are the only parents this two year old has ever known. Daddy. <laughs> Mommy. Today, Veronica Stevenson and Anthony Thomas are making it legal. Desiree has been their foster daughter since she was just seven days old. I saw from the heart, you know, came up with a um, single parent home. Somebody has to step up. We just wanted her in the family. We didn't want to lose her. It's becoming official during Alameda County's annual adoption day. 65 children who have lingered in the foster care system for years are finding stability today. All right, here we go. By becoming a part of a family, the Rochas have been waiting to adopt their son for nearly four years. This morning, my wife said that, you know, I feel like I'm getting married. And I said, well, in a sense, maybe we can uh, say we're getting married to our son, you know, that, that commitment, that dedication. And so it, it would be, a, it's, it is a different, it's a special day. But for sisters Carmen and Fratia, this day has been nearly two decades in the making. Yeah, I'm probably the oldest one here. Fratia is 19 and her sister is 18. I needed this to happen so I can officially say that this is my mother. If anything else happens, you know, with anything with the court or anything, you know, that's my mom. They've lived with their foster mother their entire lives, but because of parental rights issues, Lola Holloman wasn't able to adopt the two girls years ago, even though now they're technically adults. But my kids is like, no, no. We want the permanent connection. We want other people to never be able to say, that you were not our mother. Back on the fifth floor of the Alameda County Courthouse, 24-year-old Veronica is about to start a new phase of life. <laughs> we're excited. As a mother. We're the two adopting. It takes only about 20 minutes to sign the papers, get their certificate, and give Desiree a future. Absolutely wonderful. Well, joining me now to share some adoption advice is Jed Salmet. He's an attorney who specializes in adoption law. And Jed, you're also an adoptive father. That's not, right. Not one, but three kids. Three kids. That was a big decision. So, you know, I, I want to get to the other issues, but uh, doing that, what a, what a wonderful gift for you and for those kids. What made you and your wife want to do that? Well, my wife was pretty sure she wasn't fertile. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and we looked into things that could be done medically back then. and didn't find anything and so we quickly decided that having a family was more important than you know necessarily having a biological family so we looked into adoption bless your heart that's fantastic all right speaking of infertility um, you're also a board member of something called open path which I want you to explain to people and that is a fertility and adoption resource so tell me about that well open path is an outgrowth of, growth of what used to be called resolve the national infertility awareness and help resource and what it does is try and get people who are dealing with infertility which is really like a problem that affects every part of your life and your expectations and help them toward solutions and there are many of them uh, and help them deal with the emotions and hopefully stay with them until they have a family or increase their family. It's a journey isn't it? Oh it's a tough journey. Yeah, is it expensive? Well, depending on how you solve your problem, sure. yeah, open path isn't, but mm -hmm. most of the solutions are expensive, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And how about adoption now? Is that an expensive and time-consuming process? Adoption is expensive, but probably not compared with some of the medical alternatives. Uh, some adoptions are very, very inexpensive, such as adopting through the county, but others international or an adoption where you have to help support the birth mother for a while and pay agency fees can run easily into the twenty thousand dollars but that doesn't stop people and it shouldn't stop people if you really want to have that family uh... there's a big waiting list for people who want to adopt compared with the number of healthy children available although there's a huge waiting list of uh, older children who are looking for good homes what's your best advice for people who do want to make that decision to adopt 
Well, I think they have to search their souls and make sure this is the right course for them. Everyone's different. Some people grow up and in their mind's eye, there's a child, you know, with their eyes and their husband or wife's personality. And if you're not willing to accept a child for being a child, it may be difficult to raise an adopted child. So the first thing you have to do is deal with both your infertility issues and accept that adoption may not be second best. It might be great, a family, and then look at whether you can raise a child uh, for who the child is. All right, and we're going to put information about your services on our website. Thank you so much. Appreciate the information today, oh, sir. You. And we are going to have to take a break right now, but when we come back, we're going to learn about an amazing group that's been inspiring families to adopt foster children in just a moment. Mm -hmm.